Hey guys, I'm Deepthi Desikin and in today's video I'm going to be talking about some new lipsticks in my makeup collection. So I did a speed reviews video about some new makeup in in my collection. So I will link it right here and today's video is going to be about new lipsticks. These are not necessarily new launches. I do have some new launches that are uh, doing rounds on a lot of YouTube channels right now but I also have some things that I want to talk to you guys about. I found a very amazing long lasting lipstick which is not from a new brand. You guys might know about this product but I was amazed. We will talk about all of that. So the first one we're going to be talking about the lip product that's doing rounds on on YouTube and Instagram and everyone is talking about it. This one is the Insight Cosmetics Matte Lip Ink. So I have these in three shades or four shades. I don't seem to find the other shade that I have. So I have this one in the shade Top Notch, which is sort of like a brown uh, toned shade. And it's a very subtle brown toned nude shade for my lips. And then it can wash me out, okay? And all of these lip swatches are done without makeup. So you can see how it looks without makeup. And they are a little bit subtle, something that I cannot seem to wear without makeup. But of course, I can pull it off with a darker lip liner or a little bit of makeup around like my mouth and all. I don't really like to wear such kind of shades without makeup because I feel like they pull uh, the look down. They make you seem like you're sick or dull. And the other shade that I have is 06 Desert Taupe, which is more of a muted mauve toned lipstick and again a little bit paler for my skin tone so if you are of a lighter skin tone than I am then the shade might work out for you and then one deeper shade because I wanted to see how the deeper shade formula is so this one is in the shade disgrace which seemed like a beautiful warm toned brown shade which I really like it's a very deep brown shade and so the shades and everything is not a big problem because they do have a wide variety of sh uh, color options you can check out some more lip swatches and pick up the shade that you want but I feel like you know the formula across this is not consistent and some of the shades like the shade top notch or the lighter shades uh, they are a lot more comfortable to wear on the lips and uh, they don't really dry down that sticky but some shades like the shade disgrace that is a dark brown shade it's a little bit too sticky on my lips and this reminds me so much of the maybelline superstay matte ink um, liquid lipsticks the first few shades that they had launched back in the day it was really sticky and uncomfortable on the lips it these liquid lipsticks are sort of long wearing but I find them to be very uncomfortable because I cannot purse my lips together like that. I should have the freedom to purse my own lips. Like if I want to do throughout the day, I should have the freedom to do that. So that's the reason I am not a very big fan of this. Of course, if you like it and you've been enjoying it and you're like, oh, shut up. The price is so amazing. I love it. By all means, continue to use them. You don't really have to stop using anything because I find it to be a certain way. And then speaking of Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Liquid Lipstick, I got a new shade for myself. And this is the liquid lipstick that I have fallen in love with. This one is in the shade Artist, which is a very nice sort of um, purple toned pink shade which I actually like my pinks to have a little bit more red or peri undertone to it as opposed to a more purple undertone. But the reason I've been loving this and using this non-stop, especially underneath mask or if I have to have a nice greasy big meal is because it's very long lasting. And surprisingly compared to the initial formula of the Maybelline liquid lipstick, which I have it in the shade Voyager, this is a lot different and it's so much better and amazing. It's not as sticky, so it once you apply it, you have the liberty to do that because initially, you know what you have to do with this kind of a liquid lipstick formula, like the shade Voyager, you have to apply like a thin layer right here, thin layer on top, and then not purse your lips together. You have to make that conscious thought, like don't don't press your lips together because it sticks then it transfers and then it becomes patchy so you keep layering it becomes patchy or layering it becomes patchy it's extremely sticky it doesn't dry down but this one surprisingly is not doing that it's not very thick the formula i think that's how it's a lot different and it um gives you the liberty to even layer it on in case like you have missed a certain spot on your lip and then it dries down 
initially it is a little bit sticky i'm not going to deny that and i wore a mask on top of this and i thought you know with all the talking and i thought it's going to transfer onto my mask which it did it did transfer but it looked like nothing had moved from my lips and nothing was bleeding budging nothing of that sort so i was like okay this is a really good sign and i'm super impressed and then i had a really big meal so i had like a very like greasy pasta that's my test i usually i'm a pasta person and i love to like have nice spaghetti and i also had a pizza which was a little bit cheesy so i was like okay now i'm going to be embarrassed because the shade voyager it will drip all over your chin and it look like a blood bath and look so messy and to take it off is a lot difficult but this didn't move and throughout the day i wore this in the morning and by the time i came and checked it was like late in the evening and it didn't move at all and it st still stayed really strong without drying my lips out that's what i was really impressed with it does form a slight line in towards the inner rim of my lip that happens to me with most liquid lipstick i think except the kiro liquid lipsticks all of the liquid lipsticks do that to my lips uh this is no exception to that but it was not very prominent nothing that looked like it was sucking out the moisture from my lips nothing that was drying my lip out especially if you don't really have very dry lips it, this wouldn't be a problem at all so I am starting to believe that they have different formulas for different shade and this shade artist was amazing to my expectation. And then another shade that I picked up this one is a sugar metal liquid lipstick in the shade Vega 02. This is very nice and deep looking but it's quite similar to the Maybelline liquid lipstick in the shade Artist. The thing with Maybelline is that it has sort of like a sheen on the lips like it doesn't look like it's dried down completely matte. It has dried down completely but it's not like um it looks that powdery matte but this one has that matte finish so it looks a tad bit different compared to that but i feel like both the shades are pretty similar i really like the shade and i like the sh uh, range of liquid lipstick from sugar especially this one uh, not the um, other smudge me not liquid lipstick because some shades in that again are super drying but this one is a lot more comfortable on the lips in my opinion but they're not as long lasting um especially like they have a tendency to bleed it's just that i think people like tend to pick out these shades only because they are a little bit unique looking and a little bit different and you guys know i'm on a mission to find similar shades to this range because uh, the formula is not the best i'm not going to deny it it's not drying it's not like patchy it's nothing of that sort it's just that it's not very long lasting and um compared to the maybelline superstay matting none of these liquid lipsticks are long lasting in my opinion i am definitely going to be picking up some other shade from that range because i was super amazed but anyways i'm deviating from the point of the video that uh, maybelline i'm going to keep it aside i like the shade range in this particular uh range of liquid lipstick and that's the reason i have been picking out each and every time a different shade i have a couple of shades that you guys asked me to try out i have them in my collection as well just letting you know like the shade mimosa and then we have the sugar again matte attack transfer proof lipstick in the shade daft pink this again was uh, recommended to me by you guys you wanted me to pick this up uh, it's quite similar to vega the maybelline one but in a bullet lipstick form i really like the shade it's so flattering and it's not like your straight up pink shade where it's very neutral it does have sort of like a purple berry undertone to it which makes it a lot more wearable for me because i'm not a very big pink lipstick lover especially the one that look very lilac on your lips like purple toned pink shade but this one is really nice the formula can be very drying uh for some people like if you're not used to lipsticks being super dry you'll be like what the hell why were so many people talking about this and i feel like most people gravitate towards sugar lipsticks because sometimes they get the shades right you know some shades are so amazing even though the formula is a little bit different or certainly sometimes are a little bit drying you look past that because you like a certain shade and that goes for this one as well the shade is amazing i like it i don't find it to be very drying i'm someone who i can tolerate to an extent a lot of drying li lipsticks so if you're going by me my uh, scale of drying would be a lot different compared to you if you like very comfortable lipstick formulas you might not really like this but it's something that you can wear underneath the mask and it wouldn't like budge a lot that's the problem you know with most lipsticks it look beautiful it look creamy and nice but the minute you wear it underneath the mask really it just bleeds a lot and 
that's not a good look and if it's a nude shade you can clean it up but if it's like a deep pink shade it's a mess and then I picked up both of these. This is the Maybelline uh, Sensational Matte Liquid Lipstick. I got these in two shades. One is Touch of Spice, which it's not at all similar to the Touch of Spice in the lipstick range, if that is what you're wondering. That one is a more like purplish nude, like a very purple pink nude shade. And this one is more bright. It has a little bit of that peachy undertone to it, but it's a really nice shade and something you can pull off without makeup as well. And then I also got the shade Nude Nuance. Now this one is a more warm brown shade in my opinion, whereas Nude Nuance in the lipstick form is a little bit more cool toned and uh, might not flatter a lot of different skin tones, but I feel like this one would be a really nice nude shade, even if you are a shade or two deeper than my skin tone. It might be a little bit too subtle without makeup, so that's the reason I'm showing you guys all these swatches without makeup so you can make an informed decision. You can actually guess if it's going to look good on you without makeup. And then I have a lip liner from uh, Inside Cosmetics. This one is their super lip liner. This one is in the shade 03 and it's a really nice brown with a little bit of like a purple hint to it very beautiful you guys know my thoughts on these kind of shades and it's very very long wearing and it's a perfect lip liner to wear underneath like very nude lipsticks like nude nuance and this maybe nude nuance in the lipstick form and this lip liner is a combination made in heaven it looks so good and it's very comfortable it does break a lot so just Keep that in mind because it's really creamy. I don't really like lip liners that tug and pull on your lip, but this one is a lot more creamier, so it's really nice. And I thought this was a retractable mechanism because this one is moving. Silly me, but you have to sharpen this one. Uh, so that can lead to product waste change. So just letting you guys know, and it is quite affordable. So again, lip liners, I like to invest in affordable ones because you get to try out a lot of different colors. And the formula of this is really good. It doesn't move once you apply it on your lip. And uh, so again, if you want to wear it on its own or underneath certain lipsticks, you can do so by all means. Now I got another shade, which is not new. This was in the market for the longest time. This one is the Maybelline Creamy Matte Lipstick in the shade Clay Crush. The reason I got this is because a lot of people mentioned this one is a dupe for MAC Velvet Teddy, and I think it is because one, the formula of these creamy matte lipsticks have changed drastically. It used to be one of my favorite formulas, and this one is a little bit sheer toned, very, very sheeny looking on the lips. I don't know why they found the need to change something that was already so good. So if you have tried out the old bullet of the creamy matte lipstick and you've you know, completed that and you wanted to buy this thinking it's the same, just keep in mind that this is a lot more sheer and a little bit too shiny on the lips. So you might not get the pigmentation of those lipsticks in this. So I'm not very impressed with this uh, formula. I observed that when I reviewed the new range of creamy matte lipsticks, like the new shade. And I was like, what is this? Because this is not how I remember them to be. And some people without even trying all of this get so offended when I mention something about their favorite brand, Maybelline. I have nothing against the brand. I have so many products that I love from the brand, as you guys can see clearly. But if something is not good, I think it's, um, my responsibility to let my viewers know. When I made that video all about the creamy matte lipstick, some people were really offended. I have tried out MAC, I've tried out this brand, that brand, and there's nothing that compares to the Maybelline lipstick, which you could be right if it was the similar formula as the previous one, but this is a changed formula altogether and it's nothing like that. So yeah. The last one that I have is the color bar liquid lipstick in the shade Hot Latte. This is a really nice shade, but a very drying formula in my opinion. So I'm not sure how many people will like it. So I'll try to find for similar shades like this one. It's a really nice um, pinky mauve shade. And I've seen this on deeper skin tones as well. And it looks really nice and all of that. Just keep in mind that this can be a little bit too drying and flaky on your lips. And this is coming from a person who can take drying lipsticks to an extent even though I have really dry lips. The problem with these liquid lipsticks is that they start to flake off from your lips, crumble and get powdery then they transfer onto your teeth and on your chin. So that's what happens with this. But yeah, beautiful shade, not denying that. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video and I'll see you guys in my next one.